You don't have to be a League of Legends expert to appreciate Arcane. It was a global success and many fans were already wondering about a possible sequel halfway through. And yes, Arcane 2 is in the works. The show begins by introducing us to Zaun, the seedy underworld of Piltover, the richest and most powerful city. We see two stories unfold above and below ground, and the decisions made by each group eventually lead to their clash. Arcane follows a group of Zaunite teenagers, including the protective and street smart V and her tinkering accident prone sister Powder, both orphans taken under the wing of Vander, who once led unsuccessful riots to unite Piltover and Zaun. Years later, the siblings, along with their two foster brothers, learn about a promising target to steal from in Piltover, a science lab containing several pricey and unusual pieces of equipment. Powder discovers some glowing blue crystals among the gadgets. When someone tries to enter the lab and the group must escape, Powder drops a crystal. The unstable magical energy it contains causes an explosion that destroys the structure and attracts the attention of the city's enforcers. At the same time, Jace is facing serious trouble in Piltover as a result of his illegal experiments. The Piltover community's governing body, the council, is not pleased, and when Jace argues his case, he reveals his desire to exert control over magic. Counselor Heimerdinger, the Piltover's founding father, who has been around for centuries, warned against the dangers of magic even though this catches his eventual allies, Counselor Mel Medarda and fellow scientist Victor. With the assistance of Mel and Victor, Jace manages to avoid a harsh punishment and carries on with his work secretly. V is preparing to turn herself in to protect her family, but Vander steps in. However, Silco attacks and kidnaps Vander as he's being taken by enforcers. Powder is left behind as V and her brothers follow him because she tends to jinx their plans. The group is in a desperate situation as Deckard, who is in now a shimmer monster, is about to murder them and Vander. Vander sacrifices himself to save V from the still-kicking Shimmer Monster. V escapes and finds a panicked, terrified Powder who killed her family unintentionally. V walks away from her sister, devastated. Powder, believing she has been abandoned, is approached by Silco, initiating their father-daughter relationship. Despite her desire to turn back and save Powder from Silco, V is taken to Piltover Prison by an enforcer. The second and third acts of the play take place years later as a result of these incidents. Powder, who has since changed her name to Jinx, has fallen into madness and now obeys Silco, who continues to fight for Zon's independence. V, who has been imprisoned since the catastrophic night, forms a partnership with an enforcer named Caitlyn to track down and eliminate Silco, who has been ravaging Zon with Chimmer. Jinx obtains Jace's Hextech, which is now fully functional and increasing Piltover's wealth, and uses it to attack the Overcity. As a result, Jace, who now has more authority as a counselor, must deal with the effects of the technology that has been weaponized. With this compelling story and cliffhanger-filled finale, the animated series Arcane immediately became a smash hit for Netflix after premiering in November 2021. Naturally, since then, fans have been begging for information on the show's future, season 2 and even beyond. Arcane's second season officially began production in November 2021, according to Netflix. According to Riot Games, it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. But good news, CEO Niccolo Lauren stated in a tweet that while the first season of the show took six years to produce, fans shouldn't have to wait as long for the second. He tweeted, So yeah, we're working on hashtag Arcane Season 2. The good news, you won't have to wait for six years. The time it took us to making Season 1. The bad news, it's not coming in 2022. However, it'll be difficult to speed up a six-year process, so you shouldn't expect it until at least 2023 or 2024. Season 1 had a unique structure in which three episodes were released at the same time, so you can expect Season 2 to follow the same path whenever it arrives. So if everything goes according to plan, Arcane Season 2 should be available on April 14th, 2023. Netflix has also announced a new five-part documentary miniseries titled Arcane Bridging the Rift, which will give us a behind-the-scenes look at Arcane. It'll be available on Riot Games' official YouTube channel in August. Several League of Legends characters have already appeared in Arcane, V, Jinx, Caitlyn, Jace, Echo, Heimerdinger, Singed, and Victor. Those last two don't really resemble their Season 1 video game counterparts, which will probably fit into their character arcs in Season 2. Various fan theories exist regarding who might appear in the upcoming season. The frontrunners are Clockwork Woman Oriana and Werewolf Warrior Warwick, both of whom are connected to the mad scientist Singed. However, it seems unlikely that a minor character from the first season will be in charge of introducing two new major characters into the second season, so chances are that it will be either one or the other. 
There have been several other League of Legends characters connected to Piltover and Zon, such as Ezreal, Camille, Lorgot, Janna, and Dr. Mundo, who might also make an appearance in the second season. But we do expect to see Haley Steinfeld again as V along with Ella Purnell as Jinx, formerly known as Powder, and Katie Leung as Caitlyn. The first season of Arcane covered a lot of ground. The League of Legends adaptation tackles the powerful backstories of its champions in the first act of the series and is tasked with filling out the present in the second and third acts, which are overflowing with character drama and tension between two opposing cities, one oppressed and one prosperous. The season 1 finale was undoubtedly explosive and left many open-ended plot lines for season 2. Since Silco has been killed, Zon is without a leader, and it's unclear who could take that position, given that V is the adopted daughter of Zon's late leader, Vander, and that Jinx is a potential candidate, but out of control, she might have to take the lead. At the end of the episode, Jinx created a major issue when she pointed a rocket launcher at the council building as people inside were voting to pass a law giving Zon independence. It's unclear whether any Blast survivors will be able to confirm that the independence vote was successful or whether her furious action will lead to conflict between Piltover and Zon. It's also unlikely that Jinx and her sister V will be reunited anytime soon. V initially wanted to try and fix her relationship with Jinx, but it may be difficult to move past seeing your sibling fire a rocket at a crowded building. If you watch season 1, you already know that some of the characters might not return for the remaining episodes. That's as a result of Jinx shooting an arcane crystal rocket at Piltover's council chamber in the season 1 finale, while several main and supporting characters were trapped inside, and we don't expect that everyone will survive. If we had to make a guess, we'd say Mel and Cassandra will have, at the very least, ended up dead or been seriously injured. If Mel and Cassandra are killed in the explosion, Jace and Caitlyn will have a solid reason to go after Jinx because they're Jace's partner and Caitlyn's mother. If her mother was injured or killed, Caitlyn might seek revenge as well, which would put her at odds with V, with whom Caitlyn had grown close. Given that she's Jinx's sister, V will likely be forced to choose between working with Caitlyn and Jace to bring her sister to justice or trying to save Jinx from herself, which would put her in opposition with them. It'll be interesting to see if Victor will completely give himself over to his Hextech research. As a result, you need to smash that like button and subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. No, but seriously, because of his Hex core studies, he accidentally killed his childhood friend Sky, and it seems that Season 2 will see him take a darker path. See you in the next video.